I'm going to show you guys here the next item up, which we have, which is the first of two cameras we're going to show today. Now, if you know me, if you've been watching the show for a while, I am a huge camera nerd. I've got these IP cameras everywhere. I've got a box of webcams. I love good cameras and I love affordability. So this is the V2 wise one. I've got a V3 wise up here. I wanted to branch out a little bit. I wanted to try some things that were not just the wise family of products. So that said, I picked this one up and I paid full tilt for this from Blink because they make some interesting products. They make both indoor and outdoor cameras. This one happens to be indoor only. So let me pull that up for you guys. So there's the unboxing. That's its little box. Has not even come all out of the box yet. So it's got the standard charger that you're used to. Let's take a look at the, the size of the cable. That's usually something that gets me. A lot of times they'll either include cables that are not water resistant or they're not very big. So this is the cable they've got. I'm going to go, that's at least six feet. So that's, that's decent. I like to see longer. I know a lot of people even buy longer than this. Pretty easy device to set up from what I can tell. I've never set a, a Blink camera up. So we're going to do that together online here. So we're going to see that. I'm just checking the box, make sure I didn't miss anything. Let's see. No magnetic base. Okay, well, I lost some points there. Uh, some of the devices and some of the cameras I have have a magnetic base. It looks like it does have, this just kind of fell off on me, this removable ring. It looks like you can route the cable through the bottom there. My, I'm going to go through the setup process with you. Now, this isn't very hard to set up to the power we've got here, the back of this. Again, I'm not going to show you the QR code because you guys, my friends, are so techy. They would scan that and have this thing on their account and be totally playing before I could get it going. So there we go. So there's the product. Now, what's interesting is you see the lights on it blinking. It wants us to use an app to finish the setup process. So you would download the Blink app. Now, I am going to have to hide this because I need to sign in in my account. And again, uh, would not want you necessarily to see that. So we're going to hide that for just one second. <laughs> I'm going to get logged in wireless camera system. So these are the devices that I can add. And I know what I'm adding here real quick is a mini. So it's the Blink mini camera. I'm going to kind of get my camera here for my smartphone out of the way. And I'm going to say it's a mini camera. I'm going to scan the QR code right off the back of it. And it's creating a new system. Name your system. And it's going to be called the net guy. Got it. Okay, so it's telling me a little bit of information. A blinking blue light to a steady green. Plug it in and wait for the lights to display. I, over here, have a blinking blue and a steady green. So that looks normal. And so let's do a discover device and see if we can catch this. So it is joining the Blink Wireless Network. Allow it to connect to devices on my network. And now I'm going to have to do a couple things here. I do have several different Wi-Fi's. I use a IOT, but it has really low signal strength, I noticed there. So this is my first time using the Blink Mini. It's over there on the Amazon carousel if you're looking for it. It's sitting on my desk and it just went black. I'm guessing that's the firmware update. So it's saying it's done. I'm going to save the password on this. Enjoy your Blink Plus plan. Now this is one of the differences and one of the things I wanted to see about these devices. The Wise cameras are awesome. Um, Blink is a competitor to Wise. Obviously, you've seen me do a lot of demonstrations of their products. You know, there is a cloud storage or cloud capability here. It's going to walk me through the app the very first time here. So we're going to go through the app together. I can take a photo with the camera. I can start a live view. <laughs> so it has motion detection. They called it the home security app. This is not just that. Recorded clips. And let's take a live view of it. Hopefully you guys can see me there. So this is supposed to be a 1080p resolution, and there's a little bit of ghosting. You see me wave. Um, I'll stop waving. Move. Okay, about a three-quarter to a one-second delay, which isn't bad. Let me know what you guys think of this display. I'm actually going to throw everybody off. I'm going to turn the phone sideways, and then I'm going to give you a full screen of just what I'm seeing here. So that it's there. You know, it's got a lot of artifacting going on, I can tell. I'm sorry about the voice. It's going to be out of sync. This is the Blink Mini. Does it have an SD slot? Now, I'm thinking it does not. You guys can correct me, but I did not see that anywhere in its specs. 
I believe this is one where you have to pay for their subscription service to do the tracking, but we'll take a look at that. It does have two-way audio, so you can uh, use the two-way audio. In the picture quality, you know, it's good. Um, it's a little bit blown out. There's, it's more blown out on the capture device that I'm using than it is on the camera. It doesn't look as bad, let's put it that way. So it's a, the picture quality, I wouldn't necessarily judge it just from that. It, to me, it reminds me of a 720 resolution, especially when it's doing that frame deferencing, all that compression artifacting that you see. So, you know, I'm not guessing it'll be great for fast motion. You know, decent, decent quality. So I'm going to go ahead and save a couple pictures here just so we have them to reference. So I'm going to take a picture. It just did that like that. It was just a quick blink. And actually, the, the static picture doesn't look that bad. Um, I'm going to see if I can save that to my account. Does it save it into, I'm guessing... Storage settings. So there's the clips. There's the storage settings. So unlimited 60-day storage for all cameras. Again, this is a real common thing you're going to run into, whether or not they uh, delete clips, you know, what you pay for, what you don't pay for. Now there's a, the motion detection alert. So pretty basic alerting. You know, for $34.99, you're getting a pretty basic solution here. Um, the big thing for me is the ecosystem. And, you know, if Blink adds more products in there, you know, more home security, keypads, things like that. I think they would definitely be a player. So just wanted to show you very quickly and save some examples. I'm going to go back to some playback here. So there you can see it's actually seeing some activity. Looks like it's only showing the videos on playback here um, when it's armed. You know, the one that I, I hit, I know I hit uh, save a picture. Um, you can see there's text and writing on this. It actually is pretty sharp once it's settled down and has stopped moving. The colors, some things are blown out. You know, you're, you're getting a $35 camera versus even the cheapest GoPro I have here is a couple hundred. So blink on, the, on this hand right here. It's going to be on your left. And yeah, the Wise V3. Now, a couple interesting things. This is magnetic. This one, the Wise Cam, so it can stick on things. It's got a bunch of other features. You know, this base is telescoping, it's upside down. It's got gasketed connectors because it's waterproof and it's indoor and outdoor. It has two-way audio, all the same kind of thing. So that's abs absolutely, you know, uh, a definite competitor here between the two and really one of the leaders in this space. So if you're not looking for an ecosystem like what Wise provides, you know, the Blink has worked. Uh, one of my friends uses the Blink indoor-outdoor ones, the battery-powered. That's one of their other really cool things.